What is up, ladies and gentlemen? Welcome to day number 34 of Autodesk Fusion. Now, the, the first piece, um, I guess the thing we're going to be making here today, is the one of the very first set of pieces you're going to be making uh, with the new IED curriculum. So I'm going to go through step by step. I'm going to make each of these just a little bit different, kind of show you the, the nuts and bolts of what is available here. So the first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to go ahead and save this. This is day 34, and we'll call it first parts ever. All right, now I'm gonna click over here, up in the top right, and I'm gonna click on this little plus sign right here. So if you're making something, you wanna open up a new design, you can do that. But if you just open Fusion, it should look, look something like this. Uh, so the first thing I'm going to do is uh, make that rectangular prism that we had seen first. And so I'm going to do this, um, I'm going to make this front face right here, this rectangle, and then I'm going to do what's called extrude, and I'm going to push that backwards. So what I, what I did so far, let's hit create sketch up here on the top left, and then these three panes will show up. And so you can kind of click on which pane you want to work on. Uh, what we're going to do right now, I'm going to select this first one, uh, the X and Y plane. And then I'm going to click on, there's a, this Create tab up here, and it allows you to make some simple geometry. I'm going to click on Two Point Rectangle, and this allows me just to make a simple rectangle. So I'm going to click on Two Opposite Corners, then click Finish Sketch. With that, I'm now going to click on Extrude. So extrude allows me to take this shape and to pull it back and to make a body with it. There we go. We've officially made our first big piece. The next thing I'm going to make is a thinner rectangular piece, but I'm going to do it by looking from the top and going down. So I'm going to start a new sketch, and I'm going to look for this plane that allows me to see down on uh, my plane here. So I'm going to go ahead and just make that rectangular piece, but it's not going to be near as thick as earlier. Let's just hit that, hit finish sketch, use my mouse wheel to zoom in, and then I'm going to extrude this on up. So you can use this arrow to pull your extrusion. Alrighty, the next piece we're going to make is just a taller version of those. And so what I'm going to do is click on create a sketch. But now instead of clicking on these original planes, I'm actually going to click on the face of uh, an object that I've already made. And it allows me to do the exact same thing. So I'm going to click on rectangle and make the same part, kind of, won't be perfect. Uh, and then I can now click on extrude, click on what I want to extrude, and I can also pull it down. But we run into a little bit of a problem. I did this intentionally. Over here on the right side, you see there's some settings here on what we can do. So what I want to do is click down and make this a uh, two-side extrusion. So what we've done so far is with these one-side extrusions, let's click on two sides. And this allows me to extrude in two directions. Go ahead and click OK, and then we're done. Next thing we make is a circle. Ooh, this looks fun. So we're going to click on uh, Create. Now there's not really a good surface for me to um, start on, so I'm, I'm going to go back to my original planes here, and I'm going to rotate using the Shift key and, the, and holding down on the mouse wheel. allows me to rotate downwards and define the plane that I want to work in. If you ever get lost on what you're doing, you can always click on this little view cube in the top right, click Home, and it allows you to see what's going on better. So over here, I am going to draw a circle. And that looks all right. Hit Finish Sketch, click on Home, and see what we got here. So I'm going to click Extrude, and boom. There we go. We have a circle. All right, what's the next thing on our list to do? Next thing on our list is to make a arch and then uh, a semicircle. So I'm going to click on Create New Sketch, and I'm going to do, create on this front face right here, I'm actually going to use a whole circle. 
And so this is getting into what's called is uh, subtraction modeling. And so what I'm going to do is I'm going to uh, create this circle and then I'm going to subtract some features away from it until I get what I want rather than building on. So what did I do here really quickly? So let's go back in and look at it. This circle right here I drew, I'm just going to control Z until we get there. I drew a whole circle and then with that circle I then drew a line all the way across. The next step I then did was I clicked this trim button and I was able to cut away anything I don't want. Click finish sketch. We're going to click extrude rotate this around just a little bit and there we go all right next one hit create sketch go to this front face right here and i am going to create an arch and we're going to do the same thing with subtractive modeling but instead i'm going to go ahead and finish this sketch and extrude this piece out and then showing not only can you subtract a model on the design, you can also subtract a model on the 3D object. So I'm going to click on circle and I guess you can kind of see where things are starting to go here. I am going to do the same thing I just did. I'm going to draw that semicircle and then I'm going to trim away this layer. I'm going to click finish sketch. I'm going to extrude now, but instead of an add, a join, I'm now going to do a cut operation. Now, sometimes Fusion will think for you and say, hey, we know what you want to do. Sometimes it's helpful, sometimes it's not. So with this, we could join going out, but we're going inwards. We want it to cut, and there we go. We very briefly went over a couple different ways how to make this geometry. There's really no wrong way to make geometry. There are more efficient ways, but as long as you get there, you get there and you're good. Alrighty guys, that'll be it for this video and I will see you on the next one.